Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back your lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel. Well, we're just gonna jump straight into it. You saw the thumbnail, you saw the title. AH is now begging people to go and see her brand new film. Now this is actually quite funny because we have seen over the last couple of months regarding this movie, Everyone's gonna go and see it. Her fans are like, oh, people are gonna flock. She's amazing. She's doing this. And he's just treading on her coattails. Actually, it's the other way around. Whenever he's in the news or in the media, she just happens to be like, I need to be out there. But this is what we got. That's not something I can be sued for. AH begging fans or almost begging fans to see her new supernatural thriller. AH has been in the entertainment industry for a while now, thanks to films like Aquaman, Three Days to Kill, All the Boys Love Mandy Lane, and so on. Literally, Aquaman is the only big hit she's really been in. You can't really count Zombieland, because she's only in there for a couple of minutes. But you could say, like, Never Back Down or Pineapple Express were moderate successes, you know. But again, no, she wasn't the star like she is in these films. She established her place in the industry. However, it all came crashing down when she faced off against her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, in the courthouse. The defamation trial resulted in her receiving a ton of hate from fans, and she even became the centre of social media memes. Almost the entire world was against the actress. Well, she lied. This is why people went against her, is because she lied. But now she is ready to take the narrative back into her own hold with her newest film, In the Fire. As she hopes for an audience for the film, she states that she is an actress who is simply supporting her film. Okay. She added a remark stating that no one can sue her for this. With her saying that, it's... She's like, oh my god, I'm, I'm going to make a joke out of all this now. No. You could say something about this film and the director and the production company could actually sue you for it. That's if she says something really, really dumb. So... During her visit to Sicily, Italy for the premiere of In the Fire at the film festival, AH opened up the deadline about how it feels to make a comeback as an actress, especially with everything that went on in the near past. She stated that while she is responsible for the things she says, she cannot control what other people have to say about her. However, at the moment, all she wants to do is focus on her film and not on what anyone is saying. I actually do find that really, really funny. So, she has said, I'm in control for the most part of what comes out of my mouth. What I'm not in control is how my pride in this project and all we put into this film can be surrounded by clips of other stuff. I'm not in control of stories other people create around me. Right now, I just kind of want to not have, you know, stones thrown at me so much. Then, so let's get the elephant out of the room then and just let me say that. I am an actress, I'm here to support a movie, and that's not something I can be sued for. She's saying this now like it's some kind of big joke. And to be honest with you, that is not going to go well for her. But it says by the way about the director, you know, Connor Allen. In say, we've seen this as well, you know, we have gone over certain elements of this Deadline article. Where it says about what the film is, she plays a psychiatrist. And that the director said is one hell of a comeback. But we do have this by here. AH won't let the past trample her career. She goes on to say that she's been in the industry for her whole adult life. No, she hasn't. She added that perhaps her career hasn't been entirely amazing. However, she is proud of the fact that it is all self-made. Is it, though? Did you get Aquaman? Did you? Johnny Depp got you Aquaman because that even came about in the trial. Then, obviously, this is what we got with what she has said. It might not be obvious to other people, but I've been acting my whole adult life since I was 16. As crazy as it sounds to say, that means I have decades in this industry. I'm not telling you I have this amazing film career, but what I have is something that I've made myself, and it has given me a lot to be able to contribute. Yeah, not the uh, millions of dollars to the hospital which you promised, but you just spent the money on yourself, didn't you? The odds of that in this industry are really improbably, but somehow here I am. I think I've earned respect for that to be its own thing. That's substantial enough. No, it's not. Because some of the things that you've done... Again, you had Kevin Cosner on the set of Three Days to Kill. He literally made fun of you. 
because he said that you tried getting naked or you did get naked in his trailer and you tried to have sex with him. That's not something you do. And you were like, oh, you weren't seeing anyone. Kevin Costner then stated it was literally a day after you broke up with Johnny in these makeup breakup scenarios that you went through a lot with him. She then added that her whatever she has been through in her personal life does not define her career. Yes, it will. Because you lied and a jury found basically what well, they said. You lied. You defamed Johnny Depp because you wrote something that was not true. That's what you did. What I've lived through doesn't make my career at all and it's certainly not going to stop my career. It will. And it's not going to go well for you. But then it does go on to say regarding Aquaman, will the fans ever be able to forget the defamation trial or will Hurt's career forever remain tainted? Soon, AH will be seen opposite Jason Momoa in Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom and we will have the answer to that question. Well, to be honest with you, you're not going to have an answer to that question because if people go and see Aquaman, it's not for her. It's going to be for Jason Momoa. But it's really interesting to see that even though all these websites are picking little bits out from this deadline interview, the entire interview is literally just not that good. You are going on making fun. No one can sue me for this. You're making a big joke out of it, which is not a good thing because you could badmouth a film. You could badmouth a director or producer or whatever. And again, they could actually come out and they could sue you for defamation because one, you've already been done for defamation. Two, you were found out to be liable for defamation. And three, you had to pay Johnny Depp for defaming him. This can still happen to you. But again, no, I really don't think she's going to shit where she eats. No pun intended. But literally at this moment, I do think she's going to try and be, be a little bit more careful. Not respectful, but careful about what she says. And seeing certain things, I really can't see her career going off like it if she was still with Johnny. You know, with the first Aquaman film made over a billion dollars, she was the third character, third main character in that film. Well, if you wanted to go even further, she probably was the fourth main, because we had Jason Momoa, Patrick Wilson, and Yaya Abdin Matul II. Those are the three main stars, the two brothers and the bad guy. Well, even the brother was a bad guy. But she was the one who took, oh, no, yes, I'm the love interest. That's basically exactly what it is. It's like in the Bond film, when you have... Perfect example, we'll just use uh, Spectre, you know, or um, the last one, No Time to Die. Bond is the main character. The villain is normally the second main character. Leah Sado, who played his girlfriend, wife or whatever, the one who's the, fa uh, the mother of his daughter. They, she wasn't exactly the main character. She was the love interest. That's how it goes. And that's exactly what she was. But it's interesting that this, I can't see this really going well for her. I don't think Aquaman's going to make over a billion. Let me know what you think down below, folks. And if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates. And I'll see you all in the next video.